And here's one other function which has a pretty interesting graph. And let's look at this function and think about the limit of the function as x approaches 0. Let's go ahead and pull up the calculator and graph this. So for y1 here, I'll just type in uh, sine of 1 over x. And this will actually work either in degree or radian mode. I'm in radian mode here. But if we graph this, okay, we can't see much there, but clearly something's going on near the origin. So let's zoom in. I'll just pick option 2 there. Zoom in and press enter. Okay, and let's think about the limit of this function near 0. So it looks like the graph is heading towards a value of 0. But let's, uh, let's change our scale a little bit. I'm just going to go here to Window. And I zoom in pretty tight. Instead of x is negative uh, 0.25, I'm just going to say negative 1. And x max is 1. And then the y minimum, let's go from negative 2 to a y maximum of 2. So zoom in just a little bit there and hit Graph. Okay, it still looks like something's going on there near the origin. So let's zoom in. This graph is a, a sine function, so it's always going to be between negative 1 and 1. So I'm, I'm not going to mess with the vertical values on the window any, but I'll change the x values. I'll tighten them up some. Instead of negative 1, let's say negative 0.1, and the x max is positive 0.1. We'll graph that. Now let's see what happens near the origin. Well, we still can't see much. Let's um, let's zoom in a little bit more. I'll go back to my window and I'll do negative 0.01 and positive 0.01 and graph that. And it turns out continuing to zoom in is just an exercise in futility. This graph doesn't look real great simply because of the limited resolution of the calculator. But it continues to oscillate back and forth and it oscillates faster and faster. And if you think about the function, that should make sense to you. The, the function f of x is sine of 1 over x. So imagine the sine function. The sine function oscillates indefinitely. So as x gets huge, then 1 over x is getting really small. And then the reverse is also true. If x is getting really small, which is what we're doing here, zooming in on the origin, then 1 over x is getting really huge. So imagine how many oscillations the sine function goes through as x gets big. Well, clearly, the bigger x gets, just a regular sine function, y equals sine x, oscillates back and forth more times as x gets big. Well, the reciprocal of that is true. As, as x gets small, then this function, the sine of 1 over x, oscillates more and more. So the closer we get to 0, the, the more this function oscillates. So the limit here does not exist. And it doesn't even make sense to speak of the limit on either side in terms of infinite limits or in terms of one-sided limits. There's no value that the function gets close to as x gets close to 0. It just continues to oscillate back and forth infinitely fast the closer you get to x equals 0. So in this case, we would say the limit as x approaches 0 of f of x does not exist. But we do get some pretty interesting behavior on screen from that function.